hello guys welcome back to another android tutorial today we are going to learn about the reactive programming concepts in android today we are going to learn about rx android rx android is the jvm implementation of reactive x in android before going to create an android application based on rx android you must have some basic concepts about rx android so here I create a simple presentation that gives you the basic concepts of Rx Android. Rx Android is the JVM implementation of ReactiveX created by Netflix. Rx Android is a very useful library for handling asynchronous tasks in Android application. In Rx Android, there are mainly three concepts. First one is observables, observers, and subscribers. Now we can learn about what are these concepts. First one is observables. Observables are objects that emit data. In Rx Android, observables are the source of data. Observables are instance of observable class. An observable emit data if there is at least one observer subscribe for the data. Observables class have many static methods called operators for create observables. And these operators are responsible for the behavior of the observables. Now we can learn about Observer. Observer is an object that consumes data emitted by the observable. An observable can have any number of observers, but observable emit data if there is at least one observer subscribe for the data. Observers are instance of interface observer. Observable are instance of observable class but observers are instance of interface observer the observer interface have mainly three methods first one is on next on completed and on error method when the observable emitted data it called the on next method of the observer object each time when the observable emits a data, the onNext method of the observer invokes. And this process continues until there is no more data to emit. If the observable emit an error, then it will call the onError method of the observer exactly once. After finishing the data emission, the observable to call the on completed method of the observer. So here is a simple example. So the first step we have to create an observable that emit a string. So here we create an instance of observable class. Here just is an operator. In that method we pass a string. So this observable just emit a string called a hello. So this is our observable. Now we have to create an observer. So the second step, create an observer. So here we create an observer that accept a string. The observer interface mainly have three method, on completed, on error, and on next method. The on completed method called when the observable has no more data to emit. The on next method called each time when the observable emits a data. The on error method called when observable encounters an error. So now here we have an observable and observer. So for receive data, the observer has to subscribe to the observable. So that is the next step, subscribe to the observable. So here you have to call a method called the subscribe on the observable object and you have to pass the 
observer as parameter to the subscribe method and here we save that subscription to this variable called uh, my subscription so soon after an observer subscribe for the data the observable image data so if if an observer want to unsubscribe from the observable we have to call the unsubscribe method on the subscription object so this is a simple example so here I create a simple presentation that demonstrate how the Rx Android works. So here we have an observable object and here we have an observer that contain mainly three methods on next, on error and on completed. So here the observer subscribe to the observable. Soon after the observer subscribe to the observable the observable emits a data and it call the on next method on the observer so this process continues each time the observable emits the data if there is an error occur the observable call the on error method on the observer and finish the execution of the observable and finally, if the data emission finish, the observable call the onCompleted method exactly once. So this is how Rx Android works. So from next video onwards, we are going to create examples on Rx Android. To get more video updates, please subscribe this channel now.